Hi all, I am Gaurav. Welcome to Introduction to Scala. I am starting this series with an intent of sharing my Scala knowledge. Hi and welcome to this talk on Scala objects. In this video, we try and understand objects in Scala and its utilities. So, we will start by asking our first question. What are objects? For those who are coming with some programming knowledge background, they must have heard about pattern called single, singleton pattern. Objects are the way to implement singleton pattern in Scala. And for those who are new to programming, you can consider objects as single instance. These objects are created only once and cannot be recreated. Objects are directly accessed by their name. Let us quickly see an example of object in Scala. So if we notice this hello world uh, object example here, um, we can notice that instead of using class keyword, we use object keyword. Similar to class, an object can have fields and methods available inside its body. Notice how, notice how we are able to access message inside hello world without instantiating it or using new keyword. That is because objects has a single instance and is already instantiated for us. Do not confuse these objects with class instance. Class instance are the specific instance of the class. You can create as many class instance as you want, whereas objects are the instance that are declared only once in JVM. These instances are globally available. The use of object is not new to us. We have seen earlier that object is used to start Scala application. An object need to have main method with input parameter as array of strings and return type as unit is used to start the application in Scala. This main method then can be called to instantiate other classes and objects or you can write your desired behavior in the main method. So that was a quick recap on use of objects to start an application in Scala. So now the next question is, what are the uses of objects in Scala? Usually objects in Scala are used to create utility methods. Objects are also used to define constants in Scala and objects are also used to create class factories. We will see all these uh, uses in greater detail. So let us understand a bit about utility methods. Utility methods are the method that assist in calculations. These methods are usually defined in objects in your application. We do not need multiple instances of these utility objects because they do not hold any state, for example, temperature conversions. Let us define this new object temperature conversion having two methods, Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Both of these methods take input as double and return double. You can find these method conversion formula on Google pretty easily. Let us, let us load temperature conversion in Scala Ripple and play around with it. I will try to convert 32 Fahrenheit to Celsius that comes out to be zero and similarly 100 degrees Celsius comes out to be 212 Fahrenheit. On the similar line, you can try out writing other conversion utilities such as distance conversion, mass conversion or time conversion. This is one of the way to use Scala objects. Next up it is to use Scala objects as constant definition. Let's have a look at this sample calendar constant object. This calendar constant object will manage all the, all the constants across the application. We can use these calendar constant uh, valves all across the application. Next, the next is to use objects as factories. Factories 
are used to create the class instance and abstracts out the way to create these instances. So this is a good point to introduce companion objects. Let's have a look at companion objects. We'll start with our first question of what are companion objects. A companion object is an object with the same name as class within the same source file. It shares a special relationship with companion class. A companion class can access private methods and fields of the companion object. Companion object is a great is a great way to separate out utility methods from the behavior of the class. For example, factory methods are kept in companion object to separate out the logic of how to create the instances of class. So let's have a look at companion object and factories. Here in this example, I want to declare a guess animal class that would guess the animal based on its uh, based on its sound. Guess animal class will have parameters, type of animal, a fact about the animal and the sound it makes. We'll declare a companion object for guess animal class and declare an apply method that takes in sound as input. We'll do a pattern match on sound and provide an instance of guess animal with animal type and fact. Let us consider that as of now, we only know about two sounds, woof and meow. For any other sound, we will declare some default attributes. I will keep these default attributes as private uh, so that they cannot be accessed outside the object. However, we would modify our class in such a way that if no animal information is provided, then it should use these default attributes. Notice how even after fields are declared private in companion object, companion class is able to use the fields. Before we proceed, another important method to notice here is apply method. It is a special method in Scala that let you call the object as if the object is the function itself. We'll see its usage when we will try to guess the animal. Let me load and compile this code in Scala shell. So the first sound we are going to guess is woof. This is going to call our apply method. Notice how while calling guess animal, we have provided the sound without specifying the word apply. Let us try to print the animal type and fact about it. Next, we'll try to guess the, guess the sound moo. Again, the call has gone to our apply method. But as Scala is not able to find the animal, it is going to default the attribute. The let let us check if our default attributes are picked up. Notice again that our companion class has picked up private default attributes from the companion object. That is the way to use companion objects as factories. Here, apply method deals with the creation of guess animal class. This is a nice way to write clean and modular code. So in this video, we have discussed about objects and its usage. Scala is nice and easy to learn language and these kind of small tricks in Scala help developers to write bug free code. I hope you have started playing around with Scala. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.